And what we've done with our ban is that we have um, increased the separation of Russia's economy from the global economy by saying that America, the greatest source of um, capital, American citizens will not be investing in Russia going forward. And what this means is that um, Russia will be deprived of the capital it needs to both build up its economy, but also to invest in its war machine. Mm -hmm. We're committed to continuing to go after things that are critical to their supply chains, things that are important to building their tanks, to supplying the missiles that they need, making sure that they have fewer resources to not only fight this war on Ukraine that they have started, but also to project power into the future. Last week, we went after a number of companies that were in that they had set up to do this, and we're going to continue to do it. And we think the impact will be immediate, in the same way the impact on the economy has been immediate. The Russian economy is um, contr contrasting contracting faster than it has in more than 20 years. Inflation is nearing 20 percent. And we think that the actions we take will not only over time degrade their ability to build up their military, but will immediately make it hard for them to get the supply of materials they need to build up the military forces they're using in Ukraine today.